hello guys welcome to our youtube channel and in this video i will explain that how you can install piston rings on piston in best possible way so before that let's see what are the piston rings available so here is our piston rings provided with this piston So there are totally five rings, two is for compression and three is for oil. So there are totally five piston rings. These two are known as oil rings or oil rails and you can see it is very very thin. You have to install it very very carefully. And this one is expander or it is also known as spacer. So these three are for oil and last two rings are for compression. These are known as compression rings. And here you can see it's written top one and top two. Top one we have to fit in this group. Top two we have to fit in second group and remaining oil rings we have to fit in this third group so this is the installation process the most important thing which you have to note while installing that you have to keep this side top side on the top side so this is very important you can't put it like this in reverse way no it's wrong you have to put it this like while installing this spacer you have to form a M you have to put it like this and not uh, W here is the W you can see here the joint here it is making W but you have to make M here and you don't have to put it like this one upon another otherwise the whole ring will get jammed and your engine will start producing white smoke so you have to place it like this in this way if you will see this spacer ring you can see here small elevations here so when you will put the oil ring here it should come like this like this and not like this it should not be installed like this otherwise rings will get jammed it should be like this you have to take care of this point this is the correct uh, method of installation and not like this so I hope you are getting the difference this elevated portion should be free from ring yes this is the correct way we also have to take care of this gap orientation where we have to place this gap to gain the maximum compression so this orientation is very very important otherwise there will be compression loss so let's see how we are installing it so for the best compression and best result we are keeping the orientation of a spacer here here we are keeping the orientation of a spacer here uh, we are keeping the orientation of first oil ring and here second oil ring and here we are keeping the orientation of one compression ring and here we are keeping the orientation of second compression ring here we'll put top one and here we'll put top two so let's install it so first i am putting this spacer and note here I am making M yes and you have to take care of this orientation so here is my orientation here S and here you can see the M M here 
you can see the M here so this is perfect now we will put our first oil ring here very very carefully you have to put and before installing rings it's best to lubricate the piston so that there will be no scratches so here is our orientation now we have to put second oil ring and orientation is here here we have to put this gap and while installing you have to install it very very carefully you don't have to twist the rings very much so here is our second orientation yes so after installing you have to check these rings it should be free and not tight inside this groove so it's perfect now we will install the compression ring so this is top two it will go in second group and while installing you don't have to bend it very much otherwise it will not able to hold the compression so you don't have to bend it like this very much and you don't have to expand it you have to fit it very very carefully so here is our orientation and this is group 2 and this is top side you can see here top side and we have to place it like this yes and we have to be very very carefully install it yes it is perfect and you can see the orientation here yes it is at its correct place and finally the last ring again it is top one and top side up and here is the orientation so we have to place it very very carefully yes it's over all the rings are nicely placed and after placing you have to check all the rings these rings should be free in these grooves and not tightly fitted you can see it is free and when you are pressing it it should hide inside these groups you can see all the rings are hiding inside the group and no ring is coming outside so it should hide inside the group and if it is coming outside then it will cease while operation so you can see here this is perfect so in this way you can install piston rings in the best possible way on your pistons and uh, i hope you like this video and next time when you want to install piston rings on your piston you can use this method so please like this video share it among your friends please subscribe my channel and at last and don't forget to press that bell icon so whenever i will make new videos knowledge related repair related you can get the notification and you can watch it and at last thank you thank you for watching we will meet in next video